With fiscal year 2015 beginning on October 1st, the Guam Memorial Hospital is working tirelessly to try to get the necessary funding needed for hospital operations. GMH Administrator Joseph Verga. The biggest thing not mentioned had to do with the, um, the $25 million that we, we asked for for uncompensated care trust fund, and that had to do with um, the sustainable source of revenue that I had recommended, where I had recommended um, a customs user fee to be used for that purpose that would be recurring. But Verga says that was not addressed at all in the budget bill. Also not addressed the reimbursement of their Medicare services at the actual GMH service cost. Appropriately funding the Medicare levels, um, that wasn't really done um, in, the, uh, in the bill that, that, was, um, that was mentioned by the Senate. And we have some other things that um, for example, uh, our, our pharmace pharmaceutical fund, um, we had um, asked that 75% uh, of the fund comes to GMH in, in the form of cash, actual revenues, not 75% of the fund going to Medicaid for matching funds. Verga says this means that the $9.8 million in pharmaceutical funds is misnumbered because the hospital does not receive that money. All that is received is 25 percent, while the rest goes to Medicaid for matching funds. In addition, GMH had asked for funding for prior year obligations and capital improvement funds. He says that, too, was not addressed. Those were some of the, um, the more big ones. Um, uh, 4.1 million for the Hay study. Um, I believe that um, uh, we were only funded, I believe, uh, 1.3. So again, that's not, you know, not fully funded for prior obligations there. You know, when you put it all together, again, it's, it's significant. Um, and so, um, you know, I'm, of course, I'm disappointed. The Guam Memorial Hospital is receiving about $26 million less than what they requested for their fiscal 15 budget. This is the second year in a row where they are receiving less than what they've asked for, and this has caused a strain on hospital operations. Despite the disappointment, Verga says he continues to move forward with their three-year plan to put GMH on stable ground but it is not easy. So we continue to move the hospital forward, but it makes it difficult to hire adequate staff. It makes it difficult um, to pay vendors on a timely manner. So it affects the hospital operations. And as I said to you before, patients won't feel it because we work very hard. When somebody comes here sick, um, you know, we take care of everyone. With only three weeks left in the fiscal year, Verga is working with the governor's office to identify funding to cover the FY14 shortfalls. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Jolene Tovis.